you guys want to know the truth? I'm not a terrible person. I'm a youth leader. A philanthropist. A business mogul who puts food on so many tables. A friend to good people. A loved son and brother. In 2005, when I was 18 years old, I had the golden opportunity to go on an international exchange program. I felt both tearful and excited when I got on a plane to London. After saying goodbye to my parents and siblings, she was 16 she was in love for the first time. <laughs> Going to that prom night was a public confirmation of our relationship. And she felt like the luckiest girl on earth. No longer a child, but a young woman. High on newfound maturity and, and she felt like it was only natural to try rum for the first time. vague memory of the next day, the after effect of drinking and, and a certain hollowness that I try to hide. It is important to state now that I didn't see my deeds for what it was and I wasn't crucifying myself with memories from the past. Fucking bastard! Get a life, you piece of shit! All these years I have relieved this act in my head and it has greatly traumatized me up until now. I tried convincing myself of what it is, but the truth remains. There's a letter for you. But you could have waited till I finish my speech. I'm so sorry about that. Um, apologies. This incident didn't fit the idea of rape I'd seen on TV. You were not an armed lunatic. You were my boyfriend. And it didn't just happen anywhere. It happened in the safety of my own bed. My self-worth was buried under a soul-crushing load of silence that isolated me from the people I cared about. I was consumed with misplaced hatred and anger that I took out on myself. I was raised in a world where girls are taught Girls get raped for a reason. Their skirt was too short. Their smile was too wild. Their breath smell of alcohol. I began to self-harm so I wouldn't hurt others. I isolated myself from the world. I lost my loved ones. I didn't get the chance to go to college and become the doctor that I always dreamt as a kid. It took me years to realize that, that there's only one thing that could have stopped me from being raped that night. It 
It wasn't my skirt. It wasn't my smile. It wasn't my childish trust. The only thing that could have stopped me from being raped that night was the man who raped me. Brian West, you're a monster. Vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your key I better start putting miles on my feet But I'm so tired of wandering Yeah, I'm lost But I'm living Yeah.